when fetching records from one database table alone is not sufficient there must be a way to retrieve records from multiple databases and this is exactly what will be demonstrated in this video firstly we will revise how can we fetch records from a single table alone we have a table employee which has four attributes id name salary and department select statement to get whatever attributes we want here we need name salary department id and we will write from to signify which table we are looking for and it's very straightforward we get exactly what we want name salary and department id that was the revision how we can fetch record from a single table now let's see how can we fetch records from multiple tables we need to use join statement here employee join department means we have now access of both the tables and we can start fetching entries from the two tables we also need to write the attributes we want to fetch from other table department name and city are the ones we are looking from the table to so we have defined the attributes we want to fetch from both the tables we have also joined both of them both the tables by join command but there is a confusion we have a attribute department id in our select command but sql may get confused which department id exactly we are talking about between the two tables to remove the confusion we need to add exactly which table we are talking about and followed by a dot then the attribute name employee dot department id signifies we need to fetch department id from employee table that's how we tell sql which attribute we are looking for now one very important aspect is the on command on command it actually joins the two tables on command means the common attribute between the two table which between the two tables which works as a communicator which follows the rule of one to many database situations and here one table's primary key shall be the foreign key of the other table and i'm assuming you have fair idea about primary key foreign key and one to many relation we are in advanced stage of database tables in case you don't know about foreign key one to many concept the link is in the description you can come back to the video after watching those videos so how on command is used is we write one table's name dot then exactly the common attribute between the two tables followed by equal to other tables name department here dot and then again the similar attribute which was in the first table so now we are totally ready to fetch our records from two from the two tables by the way if we write join between the two tables join by default is inner join and inner join means between the two tables only the common entities or we can fetch only the common entities between the two tables here we can see from table 1 101 102 104 and 105 all of them are related or linked to the other table means sagir rohit virat and pandey works in department id 24 5 and 6 and 24 5 and 6 ids are present in other table so except 103 gautam gautam does not work for any department is no really department which is null in the other other table so we can skip gautam so the other common value remains sagir rohit virat and pande and left outer join in which the left part of the table takes the precedence and also we get the common attributes so how we can judge which one is the left and which one is the right whatever is written on the right or whichever table is written on the right side of it it will be automatically considered as right side table so here employee takes precedent all entries from employee will be fetched plus the combined ones so sagir rohit virat and pandey works in absolutely each department which is described in the department table they will all be written because they are the combination of the two plus rohit plus gautam in fact gautam has absolutely nothing to do with the other department but still his name will be present in in left outer join because because of the fact that left outer join has taken precedence here the other command is right, right outer join it is exactly opposite of the left outer join here 
again employees on the left and department on the right right hand side will take precedence in this command and all the values that are present in department we will get plus the common ones so here we can see graphics and development has nothing to do with employee one because there is no employee in there is no employee that works in graphics or development department which is present in employee one but still their record will be shown and the missing values will be considered as or written as null we are missing out on a gotham because gotham is on employee side and employee side does not take precedence here the last join is full outer join full outer joins is the complete of all combination of the two plus whatever is present on the employee table and whatever is present on the department table it will write everything and it's and it's pretty much self explanatory what it does thank you so much for watching please support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can make more videos like this and if you have any video ideas or want us to make a video on any educational topic please write it down in the comment box